So I did a video on Motion VFX's music video plugin, which comes with all these plugins here. One thing that kind of stood out to me was these plugins, the, the camera plugin. They came in very handy for me in my last few edits, and not everyone has $100 to drop on a plugin. So I decided I will make my own versions and give them away for free. There's a link in the description to my coffee page. You can download it for free. You can pay what you want. All donations are welcome. After you download, you get this GS camera file. Just double click to install. Since I already have it installed, it asks me to overwrite. So I'm gonna hit overwrite. Otherwise, it'll ask you to install. If you go into the effects tab and type in GS, you'll find GS camera and the presets. Now that I got footage on the timeline, I'm gonna go in here and grab the zoom and rotate. These presets are set to scale with your footage. So if I hit play, it'll zoom and rotate. But if I take this footage and drag it out, it will scale to whatever your length of your clip is. This is similar to the fake camera motion preset I've already released, but this is way more stripped down. Going to the inspector tab, you just got two options. You can increase the zoom, you can increase the rotate. By default, it's set for 60 degrees. You can increase that by just simply typing in the number. But you also know you'll get these little black bars here on the sides. So you can just grab the zoom wheel and zoom in. If I go back to the beginning, it will play and then get 180 degree rotation. Go back the other way, you just simply type in negative and the number you want. So from there, it'll rotate the other direction. Same applies with a zoom out. It starts zoomed in, it zooms out and rotate over time. I save each preset as a group. So if you go into the inspector tab and click this little icon here, it'll take into fusion. You open up this group and then double click on the icon and within the group, it will actually take you into the transform node. You also can see the modifiers that I use to create the preset. And you can actually go in here and tweak them yourself if you would like, create your own. Now this preset is 100% free, but if you would like to support the channel, all donations are welcome. At the bare minimum, hit like for that YouTube algorithm. Thank you again for 2000 subscribers. And I'll see y'all next time.